everyone and welcome back to my channel as you can see today's video is going to be an inspired set and it is in and it is inspired by jay dang beauty i absolutely love her instagram page and i saw this set and i was like i need to recreate something similar so this is kind of my take on it um not exactly what she did but just you know inspired by that <clears throat> you know kind of like sea like look i'm calling this a sea marble um but uh, i didn't know what to you know name it so that's what i'm going with so as you can see i've already um put the thin clear layer on the rest of my fingers and now i'm just doing working on the pinky and i do this so like when i change my sets or if i do a new set i can file down to that clear i mean it's like a brand new set that thin barrier does help so like the color doesn't stay behind and it's kind of like you get a fresh new set every time with the fill for me personally I don't keep the nails on for long and they come off usually after I record a video. So, <clears throat> but I mean, if you are someone who likes nails and you're going to keep them on, do that thin layer. I promise you it'll make fill-ins so much easier. Um, so as you can see, I'm just using uh, Glamiglades Milky White and then some uh, two blues that I found in my collection. I don't have like a make, uh, like a, a brand or anything like that. Just what I had in my collection and what I wanted to use. So I'm just going to be <clears throat> uh, using my Mia Secret monomer and kind of dabbing into that color. Um, and then picking up the lighter blue, which kind of looks like a, like a Cinderella kind of blue. And also dabbing in the Milky White. So kind of just like, you know, just creating it, just blending it, having fun with it. It doesn't have to be exact. Just really gizmo. Um, <laughs> just creating something in... Uh, just creating like that sea like effect um marbly kind of look so i kind of just um picked up and just blended I, there really wasn't any you know kind of mapping or plan i kind of just you know saw the picture and i was like oh let me do create some marble i like to create marble with um regular polish but it was cool to do it with um acrylic it was <clears throat> it was really fun i absolutely loved 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 this set um so as you can see i'm just you know picking it up putting it down and um i'm just gonna speed it up because i'm just gonna pretty much do the same thing on all five fingers so what makes this set really cool is that i'm gonna be adding some gold flakes onto um the nails and i'm just adding it around the edge of the um sea marble effect as i'm calling it um as you saw in the picture she just did the gold flake around the color um so that's what i'm doing the same thing uh just putting it around the the uh marble that i created can you cut it out i'm trying to do a voiceover and my cat is just just wants to play now I absolutely love I, i'm obsessed with gold flakes like they're so inexpensive <clears throat> i usually get like a big bag at michael's it's like 9.99 and i usually go with like a 50 or 40 percent off coupon so usually i pay like less than five dollars for a pretty decent bag i think i've had the same bag of um gold flake for at least two years and i i swear i haven't even put a dent in it yet <clears throat> i absolutely love that stuff and as you can see, just picking it up with a little bit of clear monomer, I mean, a, a little bit of just monomer, kind of dabbing the uh, gold flakes to pick it up and put it on the nail. And then just kind of dabbing it back in place to kind of set it into the acrylic. <clears throat> and as you can see, it's just like drool worthy. It's so beautiful.
so as you can see as we finish the blending and add the gold flakes that is what the nails are going to look like um now it's time to encapsulate and cover them in clear so when we file them uh, we don't touch that blue acrylic or we don't touch that gold flake so and also we create that glass like effect but we need to encapsulate because you can't just file it like this um, you want to make sure it's covered and protected so you don't mess up your design and all that hard work and to create this beautiful look so just cover it in clear here i'm using my mia secret clear um i found this glass jar at my local goodwill and i just love it After encapsulating it's time to get that shape back on your nails I'm using a natural nail file I believe the grit on this is 8100 or 100 100 I will link it down below so you guys have the correct measurement I think it is 100 100 I get this from my local beauty supply shop um, also you can check online uh, with files you have to see what works best for you so test them out work with them and you'll figure out what you know what works best for you <laughs> Now it's time to go ahead and use your e-file i'm using a safety bit carbide bit um to go ahead and bring that shape back i use the e-file it's a lot easier and it does cut the time of my sets as well <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
I'm going to be taking my tapered uh, carbide drill bit. I believe the grit on this is a medium. This is to go ahead and seal the cuticle area to go ahead and make it flush and make it look like it's your natural nail growing out. Um, and this just help, you know, kind of pull the look all together in the end. <laughs> Now it's time to go ahead and de-dustify your nails were created by me, just kidding. So I'm using my dust brush and also my Beauty Secrets Cleansing Alcohol from Sally's to clean up my nails. <laughs> After you put on your oh after you put on your non-white top coat you're gonna cure in your LED lamp for 60 seconds and then after that you're gonna put your favorite cuticle oil and that is the finish set done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Keep an eye out for new ones and I will see you on the next one. Bye!